Hi folks, I'm going to make a video here on how to um, recover a P8000 elephone from uh, a brick state. Now, the phone I have, the P8000 US version B, is, a th um, from what I've read, is the first revision, first revision of the US version P8000. There's a, I've learned that there's another revision that came out that has a different board in it, different motherboard. The hardware's a little bit different. Um, I don't have all the specifics on it, but I'll put links in the description of, about that uh, phone. Uh, that phone you can't root, as of uh, this video recording, you can't root it. You can't um, uh, install any additional ROMs onto it without bricking it. Apparently they haven't released, um, there's been no recovery made for it, like Torp recovery, nor has uh, Elephone released um, the uh, uh, dump file of the of, of the uh, that phone so it can be recovered from SP flash. So, that's out of the way. I'm going to do here start SP flash. And uh, and I'll show you other steps here of what is what. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is format my whole phone. I'm going to wipe it. This will essentially brick the phone. But since uh, since I've uh, you'll before you do this process you'll need all all the files that, um, to recover it. So in this case, um, I have um, the recovery Torp reco recovery with the scatter file for installing the recovery. I have the scatter file and images for for um, the P8000 US version um, B. Um, if you install the Chinese version, it'll boot. But I found out uh, by accident that. Um, not realizing I was um, putting the wrong version on when I was trying to recover my uh, EMEI number, uh, my digital number, that uh, it never got baseband because I was installing the wrong version. So you have to be very careful. Make sure you're downloading the correct version, B version. Otherwise, uh, you'll never get a uh, signal on your phone. So. You have to have those things in place on your computer before you do this. All right. So the first thing you want to do is load the scatter file. The scatter file should be inside the recover the uh, image folder for the phone. So we're going to load that. I'll take just a minute. And you'll want to shut the phone off. Mine's on right now. I'll go ahead and shut it off. Power off. And unplug it. Alright, so I'm going to format it. I'm going to format the bootloader and the flash, and I'll put a video up of the me trying to turn the phone on after it's after I erase it. So what you want to do is start it. I'm just doing this for uh, demonstration purposes. In case you load a ROM and it totally messes up the bootloader or something, 
you can format your phone like this. And then recover all the recovery files afterwards. Using SP Flash, I just erased the memory. Just want to show you that's erased. I'm pushing the power button. It's not coming on. Because I erased the whole flash in the phone. So what I'm going to do next here is load the the ROM for it and we're going to click on download plug the phone in and it's going to start loading all those images onto the phone shortly here and this will take a few minutes I'll go ahead and speed this up because this takes about uh, I don't know five minutes or so Now I'm going to show you, uh, say no to that, um, we're going to go into settings here, as you remember, um, before I did this, um, I couldn't turn the phone because I formatted it. Um, so let's go into status, IME information. See, it's blank. Okay. So, what we do next here is bring up. You can do this two different ways. You can either do it through MTK engineering mode, where you have to put in the at command and a few other things and a whole. It's uh, more of a pain doing it that way. This. Elephone built in their own um, internal uh, IMEI um, writer. So this is how you get to it. Go to the dollar, star, pound, star, pound, um, six, eight, one, three, pound, star, pound, star. Okay, now it asks you for IMEI uh, SIM 1 and SIM 2. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in. Um, I'm going to probably block this out, but the numbers. So SIM 1, 3, 7, 6, 1, Usually the uh, the IMEI number is printed on either your case or in the back of your inside your case or um, on the box or on the battery. Okay, you type them both in and click OK. It says um, oh, right, I M E I. Okay, please reboot. Click OK, and it reboots for so to boot up. I've tried uh, a few um, I M E I. Um, backup tools and unless someone can point me out to one I haven't found one that really works very well for some reason 
All right, so settings. I know there's a code you can type in to bring up your uh, um, IMEI number, but I forget what it is offhand. So there, now the numbers are in there. I'll black those out. And um, uh, turn on cell data. Oops, no, I don't want that on. And uh, Uh, as you can see, is connected AT and T. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to boot into recovery. Volume up, power button. Same time. You get three options here: uh, recovery at the top, fast boot, and normal. Volume up to select. Volume down. Uh, volume up to move up. Volume down to select it. Okay, boot into um, Team Win. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is install uh, Select Storage Micro SD and select my folder. thousand B and uh, root SU root and swipe All right, the um, restoration is complete for my um, sign in mod. We reboot. So to recap, I flashed, I formatted my phone, the entire flash and bootloader, and wouldn't start up. It wouldn't power on. I then loaded the stock ROM and recovery um, B version for the US and then um, booted up in stock I ran uh, star pound star pound um, 6813 I think it is pound star pound star Brought up the uh, the E M E or I M E I um, writer, the internal writer in the L phone stack ROM. Put in my uh, digital E M uh, E M or I M E I numbers. Rebooted and I then had signal on my phone. Um, through at and and now I went uh, boot, uh, boot into recovery uh, wiped it wiped um, the phone memory not the, not the internal um, memory that would hold the uh, EM uh, IMEI number but just the, the standard flash storage uh, and then Recovered my Im the uh, saved image of uh, Sanjumat that I had on my SD card, and that was booting up. It should start here a little bit. Uh, 